Guys, the day is finally here. It is time to start packing up. Well, I've kind of already started, but it's time to start packing up my childhood bedroom to move out on my own for the very first time. <laughs> If you guys haven't been staying updated with either my TikToks or my YouTube videos, you might not know this, but yes, I got my very own apartment and I'm moving in this Friday. Today is Tuesday, so that's only a couple days away, and I have so much to do. I'm not gonna lie, the last two days I've actually kind of already started packing up. Obviously, if you can't tell, there's hella boxes. My room is a mess right now, but the other night at 2 a.m., I just got the random urge to start packing. I just really wanted to get the ball moving, and I didn't want to worry about filming everything right away because although I am going to be filming every single process of this whole moving experience from the packing to the shopping to the unpacking to the decorating to the everything basically when you film yourself doing something it takes longer to do it than if you weren't filming so I just wanted to get a nice little start <laughs> This is how the room is looking so far. It might not look like I know what's going on. And I mean, I was about to say I do, but truthfully, I have no idea what's going on. I don't, I don't know how to do this. Nobody taught me how to pack. I have sweatpants. I have bathroom stuff. This is room decor and books. This is also room decor. This bin has all of the things that I took out of my vanity. There's still a few things that I'm going to have to pack up, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Room stuff. This is like electronic stuff. I have my jeans and my pants, shoes back there in that bin, hoodies and crewnecks, purses. I think I'm gonna start by bringing all of the full boxes downstairs just so I can get them out of my room and kind of get them closer to actually being able to move them out the door. This might be a little tricky because if you're carrying something heavy, my staircase is literally a death sentence. Here she is. So much opportunity to slip and fall and break your neck. But I'm excited. This box is too full to even shut. Wish me luck. I'm already exhausted. Ow! Ow! All right, it already looks a little bit better with just those few boxes out of here. This laundry basket is actually all clean and needs to be put away. I have two other loads of laundry downstairs that I need to clean and put away as well. But I think right now I'm going to put away this laundry. That lot of laundry is pretty much all put away. I just have like this stuff that doesn't go in my closet. Also like my pajama pants and sweatpants, I already started packing in this bin. So the ones that I can't see myself wearing in the next couple of days, I'm going to put away. Okay, so yesterday I packed up all of my jeans and pants into this box, but I'm actually gonna switch them over into one of these moving bags. Just cause I don't have that many cardboard boxes left. I think I only have these two behind me. And I feel like more fragile things need to go in the boxes versus like clothing. And these moving bags are supposedly perfect for packing up clothes. I don't know how big they are. This is actually perfect. This is definitely too many pairs of pants for one girl. Is it that? Is it? Is it? Is it life or death? No. Oh, okay. That actually is pretty heavy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to carry it without. Oh yeah, actually this is easier. Um, I'm gonna bring this downstairs. Uh, how do I open my door? This is humbling. All right, so all of my cute shorts and skirts are in this drawer and then all of my comfies and pajamas are in this drawer. I'm gonna start with my cute ones. I'm not gonna lie, I just went through these not that long ago, so I don't know how much I'm gonna get rid of, but hopefully some. Right here is a little pile of the things that I'm going to be either donating or selling. I also went downstairs to eat some lunch and make myself a coffee because I am getting tired. And while I was down there, I grabbed my second load of laundry and I just put that away in my closet. So now I just have one load of laundry left of clothes that I'm gonna need to put away before I can pack up. I'm trying to keep my room as clear as possible and it's just not working. I think I'm gonna bring this clothing rack downstairs. Since I took my jeans and pants out of this box, I have an empty box. I also have these little like storage things. I use these in my 
closet and enough of them are in still pretty good condition that I think I'm just gonna use these in my new closet. I will say my apartment, you guys, it is a dream, you guys. I cannot wait for you to see it. It is more than I ever could have imagined. Like, it is perfect. Pretty much every single thing about it is perfect, except for the closet. The closet is huge. Like, I have a huge walk-in closet with, like, a cute sliding door. But, y'all, they put so much money into, like, this building, into all of the units. Like, everything is, like, perfect. It looks so nice and cute. But then the racks that they use in the closet, I know this is, like, so, like, oh, my God, you're really complaining about the racks in your closet. I'm paying a hefty amount for this apartment. So, yes, I'm complaining about the racks in the closet. They're just, like, those wired kind of ugly ones, and they're kind of set up in a way that just, like, does not utilize the space whatsoever. I'm really gonna have to figure out how to make the closet space work for me. There's a ton of space. Like I said, it's a huge closet, but there's only like a few racks and there's not like shelving in there. It's really weird. You'll see it when you see it, but moral of the story is I'm probably gonna need to use bins like all along this top shelf in there. So I'm gonna bring all of these, but in this little box that I have here, I think I'm gonna pack some of the decor that I've bought over the last couple of months. These are two pictures that I took off of my wall. They were above my bed. These both kind of fit the vibe of the guest bathroom. So instead of buying new ones, I'm just going to bring these. I'm leaving one here. It's like a weird bicycle against a brick wall. It's just not cute anymore. But these two, I feel like will be cute additions to the bathroom. Packing these in here. now I think I'm gonna pack up all of these like kitcheny things this bin doesn't have a lid and I'm trying to figure out if that's stupid or not I feel like no because then I'll be able to like remember that all of these items are very breakable Blades. I don't know what I'm doing wine glass maybe I shouldn't put those on the bottom I'm so dumb like I've not been doing any of this right I'll put like the non fragile items at the bottom <laughs> I am struggling. I don't really know what to do. Like I genuinely just like, why is this so hard? JK, I stubbed my toes on the edge of it. There's like a square at the bottom. I don't know if you can see. No, you probably can't. There's like a square and then the pole. And I always stub my toes on the corner of the square part. Oh, it's time to go through the swimsuits. It's slightly crooked. Sorry, let me fix that real quick. Sorry also about the sun glare. I can't control it. Unfortunately, the sun doesn't listen to me. Okay, here is my swimsuit organization. There's so many swimsuits in here that I do not wear anymore. I was sweating, so I had to open my window and turn the fan on. Hopefully the audio isn't bad. Sometimes it gets like weird with the fan on, but I've decided um, after looking at the video I took of my apartment, this uh, storage, this organization for my bikinis is not going to work, unfortunately. My door slides against the wall, and if I were to open it this would prevent the door from opening you know what I mean so I found a new solution for bikini organization on TikTok and I think I'm going to try that one out but for the time being I'm just going to like I said take out any of the swimsuits that I don't want anymore and then the rest I'm going to put in one of those blue uh, moving bags so far these are actually really really convenient and I'm loving them no why did the lighting do that nothing I can do about it I'm getting rid of all of these bikinis. There's definitely a few more that I should have gotten rid of, but I just can't let go yet. I feel like this is a good start. Hi guys, it is the next day. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually like 1 p.m. and I'm finally now just done getting ready. I had to do some editing when I woke up this morning and then I ate my breakfast and then I came upstairs, showered, did my makeup, got dressed, all of it. Also, last night I did do some packing and I made some progress off camera. Once again, I just kind of had to power through and when I'm filming, things take me so much longer and I just got so fed up and I was so sick of packing. This is how the room is looking. I think it's looking a lot better. I don't know how it was last time you saw it, but pretty much 
all of my drawers are empty. This was my bra and underwear drawer. I had comfy shorts, my pajamas and t-shirts. This is the only drawer that still has stuff in it and this is my sock drawer. I've been putting off the sock drawer because I have so many mismatched socks. I have so many socks that I don't wear anymore and I'm gonna have to like go through and sort all of them. And then I had jean shorts and skirts and then long pants. My closet is a mess right now. All of my hanging clothes are still here because I'm gonna use like the trash bag method where you like bundle them up and then like leave them on the hanger. I left out my favorite sweatshirts and sweatpants because that's what I wear most of the time. So in the next couple of days, that's what I'll be wearing. And then I'm not bringing those sweatshirts or those t-shirts. Right now we have to go on a 30 minute drive to pick up the top part of my coffee table that I am going to be making. You're probably like, what are you talking about making a coffee table? Yeah, this probably is not recommended, but also my boyfriend builds houses and one of his best friends does like woodworking stuff. And they both agreed that it's super easy. So I'm gonna have my boyfriend help me out with it and I'm gonna go and get some of the materials today. And then I also might stop at the post office and my energy service place because I need to fill out a few different forms and verify my identity so that I can get electric and gas in my apartment. I just walked out of the energy services place and it actually took me a little bit longer than I was hoping for and expecting. But now I am headed 30 minutes away to Lowe's and we're gonna look for these supplies, these materials, these building materials, this, this lumber. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. To build this coffee table. Let's road trip. I made it to Lowe's and I really hope they have what I want. I didn't check the website. Two days ago it said they had three left. So I'm really just hoping and praying right now. successful I actually ended up getting all three of the round circular wood things that I need the last thing that I have to get is the pole wrap and it's basically just like what's gonna go around the outside it's probably so hard to like figure out what I'm trying to say this is the coffee table that I'm trying to recreate and have my boyfriend help me make this one is from West Elm and it's over $800 and I could not get myself to spend that much on a freaking coffee table so I'm making it and I just spent $91 and I think I'm only gonna need to spend probably about 20 to 30 more so in total, this is probably gonna be like a hundred and thirty or less dollar coffee table versus an eight hundred dollar one I was driving home and I passed Kohl's and I realized I haven't gone into Kohl's yet to like look for anything Kohl's usually has really good prices and like deals and stuff So I'm gonna go in there and kind of just look at the home stuff the kitchen stuff See if there's anything that like stands out that I might need Guys, I'm finally home. I'm gonna do a little haul of everything that I got at Kohl's. The big wooden things for my coffee table are still in my trunk. I'm just gonna leave them in there and drive them over to the apartment eventually. But the first thing that I got from Kohl's is this Shark Rocket Vacuum. My mom has this one and I really like it. It's really convenient for using on carpet and like hardwood. My entire apartment is hardwood. There's no carpet in there, so this will be very nice for it. The first thing I got is this little candle. It's actually not a little candle. It's kind of a big candle. It's just white. It was on clearance for $11.99 and I really like the way that it smells. It's called Frosted Woods and I low-key think that this is like a holiday Christmas candle. But I really like the way that it smells and it doesn't look like a holiday Christmas candle. It's just, you know, it'll go anywhere. Like it'll, it matches everything. So I just thought this was a good find. I found this pink and gold picture frame. It gives me such girly, like it's so girly. I love it. My new room is going to be very like beige, white, neutrals, but then I want pops of like pink in like green. The next thing is this little candle, which I am so obsessed with. First of all, again, smells like heaven. It's in the scent Cotton Candy Punch, which is an interesting choice, but it smells amazing. I just thought this was like such a cute little aesthetic candle. They had these in a bunch of colors as well, but they all smell horrible except for this one. And I think that this is gonna look super cute on my dresser in my room, sitting on top of this little tray that I got for $5, like literally five bucks. So just imagine this sitting there. I'll find something else I'm not entirely sure maybe like a vase with like flowers in it I don't know but I just thought all of this stuff went together so cute honestly like this not bad like this is cute that's everything I got from Kohl's I'm going to pick this stuff up and I'm gonna bring it downstairs where all of my stuff is sitting I'll show you guys what downstairs is looking like in a second it is it is a lot 
these are all of my boxes so far. I have my little like shoe storage thing. It goes all the way back here. It's a lot. Um, my brother got me sushi at the grocery store today, so I'm gonna go eat my sushi. And then um, I think I'm gonna pack up my vanity and bring my vanity downstairs. Most of the stuff is out of the drawers. I did that the other day, but there's still a few drawers with stuff in it and I'm gonna take the rest out. It's the next day, I'm losing it. It's 4 p.m. and I'm just now like getting up. It's actually insane. Went to bed at 5 a.m. last night again. Woke up today at 10.30 and then I was like, let me sleep for a little longer. My mom came over at one and woke me up and I woke up from like the craziest dream. I was locked in my REM sleep and then I woke up and my head has hurt ever since. I'm so tired of packing. This is how my room is looking. I did my vanity stuff off camera. I did a little bit, but I just, I couldn't, I couldn't film it all. I started with my closet actually i'm doing this trash bag trick where you just like kind of group the clothes and then like tie it around the hangers and keep everything on the hangers so clothes is my next step i'm gonna get all my clothes out of here and then hopefully it'll feel a lot less overwhelming because it still feels like i have a lot to do just because my clothes are still hanging in my closet i also have a bunch more bathroom stuff i already packed a bathroom box the other day but this is kind of just what was left over that i still want to bring and i have like my trash can that i'm gonna bring i just took a nap it is currently like seven a little after seven seven 16. I've made a tiny bit more progress today. I brought all of my clothes that were hanging down. I'm so sorry that I'm just like not getting footage of everything, but I feel like I've filmed a lot. It's just so much. I'm like looking around and now I kind of just have all of like the leftover stuff and like little stuff that I don't want to put into a box because I feel like I still need it out. But I just like don't know what to do now. I can't believe I moved tomorrow. That's incredible. Incredible. <laughs> What? I meant that's insane. It's also incredible, but it, I meant insane. I feel like I'm on drugs. Like this week has gone by so quickly and I feel like all I've been doing is just like running around. And like the second I start on one thing, I think of something else that I need to do. And then it's just like a spiral. It's literally so hard to get anything done. I feel like I should end this video because I know it's already really long. And tomorrow I'm starting a whole new vlog. It's gonna be of the actual move-in day process, unpacking, empty apartment tour, all of that. So that's what next week's video is gonna be. But I feel like for now, I don't know, I feel like I've done enough for the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am so freaking excited for this new era of me and my content. And honestly, I have not felt this motivated and inspired to make content in so long. And if you guys have been keeping up with a lot of my stuff, including my podcast, you would know that a big trigger, a big motivator for this move is my content, which sounds insane. But I'm kind of at the point in my life where I'm not only feeling personally stuck like I feel like mentally I've moved on and I'm ready for new better bigger things physically I kind of feel like I'm still just like stuck in high school in a way because I'm still in my hometown all of my friends are off at college and I'm just still in my childhood bedroom which is not that big of a deal if you can find a healthy way to still grow but I've been having a hard time still growing and still finding a way for me to feel positive here I love my family and I love living with them and I love this room I love this house like literally there's nothing wrong with it I just kind of have this strong gut feeling that I need to go off and be on my own for not only my personal growth again but for my creative growth and for my social media growth and all of it I just feel like I've been making the same exact content in the same exact place since I was a literal child so I'm just so excited to be able to start making fresh new content that doesn't just feel recycled because let's be real you can only watch a morning routine or a cleaning my room or a productive day in my life so many times in the exact same room before it feels like you're just watching the same video over and over and for me it just feels like I'm creating the same videos over and over so I'm so excited I can't even express it it is a little nerve-wracking and I've never ever been on my own before but I am still extremely close to home so I don't think it's gonna be that bad I don't think I'm gonna be getting like homesick or anything like I can literally just get in my car and drive 10 minutes home if I want to but yeah I love you guys I will see you in the next video make sure you are subscribed with your post notifications on also go follow my tiktok and my instagram because i'm going to be posting a bunch of tiktoks and reels of this entire process but yeah subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming moving content i love you guys